hey everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in once again today's video is all about my designer gold necklaces which i've acquired over the span of three years since i started collecting luxury fine pieces i just got a few in my collection as i didn't include designer fashion or custom ones which will be in a separate video so this is dedicated for the gold uh, pieces and anyway the necklaces i'm going to show you have been unboxed and reviewed on my channel in the past links of which are in the description box below these pieces are from cartier louis vuitton van cliff and arpels and ideal so in any order i'll start with this piece from cartier it's the love necklace with three diamonds from the love collection this necklace is 18 karat yellow gold set with three brilliant cut diamonds totaling 0.07 carats. It has a chain length of uh, 420 mm, really beautiful and shiny because of its mirror finish. It is the heaviest actually among all the necklaces I have in my collection. For this category, which is the designer gold necklaces. Now, I wear this alone but sometimes i love layering it with my other dainty pieces but of course i prefer it on its own because of the size of the pendant and i think it's very stunning classic and classy perfect with any outfit and it can just it can't just be worn every day but on certain occasions as well this will definitely elevate your simple outfit instantly and I love pairing it with my love bracelet and love ring as well and mine has no visible scratches. There are fine but nothing like deep uh, scratches which is good and it's really a durable piece. It's not adjustable which is totally fine with me because the pendant is quite heavy. So a solid chain without links like this is a must. I won't talk much about the specific details of these pieces as I have done videos dedicated to each in the past. So the next necklace is from Louis Vuitton called Color Blossom BB Star Pendant Pink Gold, Pink Mother of Pearl, and Diamond. It's an 18 carat pink gold with one diamond of 0 0.04 carat, while the Mother of Pearl motif is 13 mm sorry for the noise guys <laughs> my dogs anyway the chain length is 41 cm it has a mirror polish back engraved with the lv signature louis vuitton took months of work to perfect the stones subtle curves and sparkle it is absolutely beautiful and i chose this mild of pearl version over the turquoise and onyx because i thought it's more elegant and girly I love the gold nail at the center of the flower representing Louis Vuitton's uh, trunk making heritage as well as the monogram star flower wherein each petal was sculpted and polished by hand. This is absolutely a great layering piece because it is dainty and simple. I love this piece so much that I've worn it every day for one year without taking it off even in the shower and to the gym really an iconic piece that i believe is worth buying and collecting next is another piece from cartier the diamore necklace or diamonds leggy model uh, in 18 carat yellow gold set with a brilliant cut diamond totaling 0.18 carat it has a diameter pattern of 5.48 mm with a chain length of 300 to 410 mm this simple classic piece is probably my most worn because it goes well with everything i've worn this every single day until now so this uh, might surpass my louis vuitton necklace in the future it comes in three different sizes which are extra small small and large I went for the large because I wanted something that is a little bit noticeable and will stood up on its own. I had a different necklace on at the time and I found layering with other pieces also look beautiful. 
These two really look good together, I think. I shower with it, I do everything with it on, which is great. Because the last thing that I want to have to do is to take a bunch of jewelry before I can do anything, you know. I do recommend this piece. If you're looking for something really dainty, then this is a beautiful one to go for. But if prices are concerned, go for one from a local jeweler that they can customize exactly the same thing. It's not going to have the Cartier logo on the back, but it's going to be a stunning piece that you would uh, want to wear every single day and you'll definitely get your money's worth out of it. Next is a beautiful piece from Van Cleef and Arpels, my vintage Alhambra Guilloche necklace. This was a recent purchase and I really, really love it. It's an 18 karat yellow gold with a pendant attached to the necklace chain. It is inspired by the clover leaf adorned with a border of golden beads. Really, really elegant and unique looking piece. The chain is also adjustable with a hallmark clasp. I love how shiny the pendant is and I just love the size. Not too big, not too small. It is so unique as you can see. The laser cut design on the pendant shines with the light. Even the chain is shiny as well. I've been wanting to have this piece and I'm so happy to have it in my collection, finally. It's a necklace that you can layer with different necklaces, but it can absolutely stood up on its own. I also highly recommend it if you are going to start your VCA or Van Cleef and Arpels collection. I wish I could get Another piece from the Guilloche line to pair with this beautiful necklace. And hopefully it would be the five motif bracelet. Who knows? So the last piece is from Ideal, the Lena necklace. Everyone loves this piece. It is in 14 karat yellow gold with diamond pendants. The diamonds are lab grown, unlike the previous ones which I have shown you. They are real and the price of this piece was very reasonable and affordable. I have included Ideal website in the description box below so you can check on it. It has a total of six diamonds which are really beautiful and sparkly. Perfect for everyday wear whether for layering or on its own. So let me know which one is your favorite among these pieces and why. Thank you so much for watching. That's all for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Of course, you may want to subscribe as I do luxury, fashion, lifestyle, and beauty. Once again, thank you and I hope to see you on my next one. Bye!